Hey, it's Rhea Raj. I'm here with Sound Exchange, and this is Sound Advice. <laughs> Welcome home, back to New York. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I was just in New York last week, and I'm happy to be back here again performing. You had a whole New York moment, dream moment. You were on the billboard at Times Square. What did that feel like? It was one of the most surreal moments of my life because I would literally walk past that billboard every day to get to dance class. And so, yeah, I like manifested it, hoped it would happen one day. But when I actually saw it, I was crying. <laughs> so you were on the billboards for AAPI month. Can yes. you talk a little bit about how your cultural identity and your background has affected and influenced your art and your expression? I grew up learning classical Indian Bharatanatyam and Bollywood dance. My mom taught and ran a school for over 10 years, so grew up dancing, learning music from her, and she always encouraged me to pursue the arts. And when I told her I wanted to be an artist, like she was just the person who was so down for the whole journey and my whole family has been incredibly supportive being a south asian artist is obviously like the biggest part of my identity it influences every part of my career in terms of like sound and fashion everything and it's time that we get that global recognition and we're put on global stages because we're out here we're outside we're outside <laughs> we're outside you just had an incredible performance at Pop Shift, and I was actually standing right next to your dad. Your dad had his hand up the oh, entire yeah. time recording minute by minute, second by second, entire performance. It was the sweetest thing. He like surprised me with a custom t-shirt of my outside lyrics. And yeah, just best dad award for real. Having a family that is supportive of your art and your music and your creative expression is such a blessing and especially South Asian parents who love entertainment, love art is such an exciting thing. I want more people to know that like that's a thing. South Asian parents are supportive of the arts and so I will always proudly talk about them. Love my parents Mwah. and my sister. What does representation for South Asians look like to you in the industry? What would you want to see it become? I mean, I just went to Coachella this year for the first time and we saw such an incredible lineup of so many iconic South Asian artists and performers and I think just more like stages, festivals, all the support representation is super important. I remember like growing up and really loving MIA and to me she was like one of the first South Asian girls to just like cross over globally and just be such an icon in music. Being out there, being out and about and not being afraid to embrace your identity, your sexuality, everything, just being like mm fierce. You sing, you write, you dance, and you also produce. And women that produce is not something that's talked about a lot. It's like, mm -hmm. how did you start? What advice do you have for them? I would say, do not be afraid to call yourself a producer. I think a lot of times, like people think that you have to be the best to be like proudly claiming that. But a lot of guys walk into the studio, press a button and get production credit on songs. So girls, Claim that proudly. You're a producer, you've got this. Like, just have fun, experiment, try different things, and walk into the studio and own that. Yeah. yeah. No shade to this. <laughs> Can you talk to me a little bit about what it's like being an independent artist and navigating the industry? So, I started my record label, Mischief Records, when I was uh, like 16 or 17, and um, have been releasing music independently since. I mean, I do all my own, like, I make my music, I do my own PR, marketing, everything. And it's been a really cool process. I think I've grown to just like appreciate every part of the journey. My advice for independent artists is like, it's a lot, it's intense. There's a lot of like elements of, you know, being an artist every day, but you have to fall in love with it all. Um, marketing, yeah. big one, <laughs> yeah. big piece and you crush it. I think I've been following you since like 2020 on TikTok, oh which is so exciting seeing, you know, from WTF all the way to we're at we're outside now. Oh my God. What's your sauce? Oh, yeah. I mean, to be honest, like I just wake up every day and make a lot of content, a lot of videos. Last summer was really exciting because I had this song outside that came out 
and I spent months and months in, I was in India and um, making videos every day. I was like DMing my favorite creators, my favorite like beauty influencers, everybody just being like, hey, would y'all be down to make videos with this song? And like, it started a movement and um, I don't know, you have to love social media as an artist, and I really do. Like, a lot of my audience and my fans, the Reaverse, shout out to the Reaverse. I love interacting and making videos and talking to people. So, yeah, you just gotta put yourself out there. You gotta, you gotta make content. <laughs> A best or worst piece of advice you've ever received? Best piece of advice I've ever gotten is keep your family and your friends and loved ones very close and um, anybody that doesn't give you absolute positive energy uplifts you they don't need to be there in your life and that goes for everybody you resonate with people and give that positive energy out and you will receive that too so just that's everything this year is sound exchanges 20th anniversary so it's a big thing we've been paying creators since 03 mm -hmm. we just entered our 20s yeah. you're in your 20s can you talk about um, something that you've learned in your 20s that has really helped you in navigating your career? I've learned that the only opinion and competition that I have is with myself and like the only opinion that matters is my own. And so I just have to worry about getting on stage and being in front of people and making myself proud because that'll resonate with everybody else. So that's my advice. Amazing. Yay! Yeah, of course. <laughs> Happy 20th anniversary, Sound Exchange! <laughs>